Hello once again guys and welcome to a brand new video and this time around we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at episode 1 of Game of Thrones and I call it episode 1 because this game is made by Telltale Games um, who made like The Walking Dead and just like that game this one is going to be released in episodes and so far we only have episode 1 released. Now as far as I know this is like a point and click and quick time event game. I haven't played The Walking Dead, I have played Jurassic Park which is also made by Telltale and that was like a similar type of thing so I'm guessing it's going to be like that and I hear it is pretty dialogue heavy so there might be some parts where I'm not talking guys because I'm going to try and follow the story along and follow this character arc. As far as I know we're in a house called House Forester which is a fictional house, I think, in the Game of Thrones universe. I am a Game of Thrones fan, although I'm not like massively up on the law, so I don't know everything. I haven't even read the books entirely yet, so uh, yeah, I'm not like you know a huge Game of Thrones buff, but I, I do like the show and the books. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this game now. So you are welcome to join me, guys. So let's head into Game of Thrones episode one, and I think this one is called. Iron from Ice. Tyrion! Tyrion is awesome. Gotta love Tyrion. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna begin episode one. And see what it has in store. Okay, this game series adapts to the choices you make and the story is tailored by how you play. Fair enough. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves, and the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Okay, so we are under threat, guys. We are seriously under threat. So it is not good times. Not good times at all. And here we go. Into Westeros we go. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breakers, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Is this us? Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. I guess so. This is who we are playing. So we are Garrod. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got to clean this sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Okay, Go okay. On. It's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. And I say that as a friend. Okay, our first choice. Even if we're being honest, um, we are just a scribe. Why not? Why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught um, Tyrion shh. too. Be quiet. Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I'd a hand in it. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before oh. he dragged you halfway across the battlefield. Lord Forrester, on your so face. this is like the main You're guy. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Oh my god. It's your um, job. Okay. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well. That's the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. 
The night we celebrate. What we're celebrating, guys? Have I missed something? Sorry if I have. The Rob Stark, the King in the North. Okay, the Rob King Stark. In the King in the North. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. All oh, right. Gods okay. Onward to Casterly Rock. Oh. Death to the Lannisters. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Oh, the main guy wants us. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my okay. mind for a while now. Uh, what do you mean? Done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Lots of gold. Um, I don't know. You serve me well. I seek nothing. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. <sighs> Great, so I'm probably going to die your either way. Work has paid off. Um... I won't let you down. Oh, I didn't no, say anything. Keep this between Oops. us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. So yeah, there is a timer on the choices you make, guys, and I missed it there. Whoops. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Guy's kind of annoying. Okay, fine, but you owe me. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. I mean, we're so nice to the guy, and he just says that to us. Can you believe that? What a dick. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up ignoring while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Um, He's a drunk, a liar, and a never. It could be freak. worse. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. Do you swear at me, boy? See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Oh, <laughs> Who doesn't much. love bacon? Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with All being I'm a pig farmer. Is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Enough whining already. Waste of fucking time. I'm sick of listening to your whine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Oh, that's right over there. Oh crap, I've just realized where we are. I'm so dumb. Oh god. I've just realized where the hell we are. Well, this is not going to end well. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Oh dear. Fucking phrase. Be quiet, nice moron. For a wedding. Yep, this does not look good. At not all. He finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Yep. Not good. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. That guy's gonna die, I'm pretty sure of What's it. Wrong?
Oh, and there is the reins of Castamere music, so that's not a good sign. Um, yep, we need to get back now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagging already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? No, no, no. We have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Should we save him? Or should we leave him? I don't know. Oh, God. I oh, will save him because I'm nice. But what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? Run. What's the rush? Run! Run, run, run. Run, run Forrest, run. <laughs> yep, it's all kicking off now. We need to get back to camp. Yeah, no crap. Oh crap! I totally forgot that I had to do quick time events there. Whoops, the Daisy. My bad. We have to get back. Okay, Roderick's kicking ass. Oh dear. Oh no. Go away, please. So we need to get this. Ah, oh, why wouldn't it grab it? There we go. It's a little bit buggy, guys. It's not just me. It's kind of strange. But yeah, we'll get there. Oh dear. That. Look out. Don't get run over now, for God's sake. Oh, I missed that one too. I was too busy watching the damn scene. Oh my God. Oh, so we're crawling forward. Okay, get the hell out of here, boy. Oh no. Okay, we got that one right, so that's okay. We went crushed to death. Leave me alone. Oh, get off me. Ouch, that's got a hurt. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Oh crap, did we just get Roderick killed? I think that would be a yes. Whoops. If we didn't call his name, he wouldn't have lost his concentration, so yeah, I think that was our fault by shouting his name out. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Um Speak up, Garrett. He's gone. You see him or not? I'm sorry. He, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Find a weapon. Quickly! Oh no. We've got company, guys. Take that. Oh, crap. Don't free, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Seven hells. We've got to keep moving. We have to. We have to keep moving, my lord. That's what I said. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> Ouch. 
this with your life. Return oh, I see where this is going. Where it belongs. There's no time to waste. Okay, fair enough. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. You have to go. I'll save you there, dude. I've got the sword. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. Okay, okay, I swear. The house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, okay, we gave him my word. For your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> With love. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, run. Now would be a good time to run. Like, seriously, like, right now. Like, run. There we go. No, not jog, run. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, here we go. We are now in the Forester Lands. So as far as I'm aware, we have to take this sword. Is it to our uncle and give him that message? Are they in the same place? Um, I think so. And there's a pig. So yeah. <laughs> there's a pig. Okay, use WSD to move around and the mouse to look around. Okay. Um, okay. Can we go up here? Nope. What about this way? No, okay, so pretty much down the road then. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pig. Oh, what's this? Oh, we found some blood. Blood. Fresh. Fresh blood. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh, there's a dead pig now. Are we, like, near our home now? Because obviously, you know, we were a pig farmer, so... What is this over here? This is... Just a cat! I didn't know if that was going to be interactive or not, but apparently not. Oh, it's really difficult to walk, guys. It's like, kind of buggy. I think it was meant for like a controller or something, I don't know. It doesn't really work that well. That's father's car. Oh, so we are at home. And things don't sound good, to be honest. Oh no. They just killed a pig, guys. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Um, okay, we need to get to our father, I guess. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. I'm not sure we could take Where'd these you guys. Get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. It's none of your business. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. Oi, 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 I didn't say that. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. <sighs> Sorry about the language, guys. <laughs> but it that is Game of Thrones. too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
No. Oh no. It does not look good. I'll have that sword, boy. <clears throat> no, you will not. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for it, guys. Fuck you. Oh no. Damn it, we lost the sword in like five seconds. Alright. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. Uh, uh oh good. We've got like a pitchfork or an axe. Um they are a pig farmer. I'm going for pitchfork. Screw it guys. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, take that. Ouch. That's got a hurt. Missed. And not today, my friend. Okay, I think this guy might be a problem. Oh, we've got the sword back. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Ouch. That's got a hurt. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, take that. Mercy, please. What do we do, guys? I, you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Um. We'll share mercy. Oh no, I missed it. I chose mercy. Okay, I was going to choose that. I don't know why. I'm just in a good mood today, so. That's how nice oh, I am. I Even though see you hang for this. That much I promise. I think it was this guy though, who was uh, the main instigator. But yeah, we probably should have killed that guy, but it would probably just cause more aggro. I don't know. Because obviously uh, decisions matter, I guess. Uh, Garrett, you survived. Uh, your, your sister. Uh. She hid. Oh god, they've killed her with the pitchfork. I tried to stop them. And now he's dead. I'll kill the men who did this. We just had the chance, we should have done that. I should have killed that guy. Damn it. Ah, okay, so this is, uh, yeah, this is where we're bringing the sword to, right? And hopefully this is where our uncle is, I think. It's Garrod! It's Garrod, yay! Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived! Although well, we're looking a bit worse for wear, if I'm honest. Yep, not looking too sharp. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> really means a lot, my friend. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Good, that'd be nice. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I had but no the choice. The White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Okay. 
Just what we want to see, guys. Ew. Lovely. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, so but he would do? have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Don't be a dick about it. Handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Um, it's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Mm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, so let's walk, I guess. And uh, what's this? The Lord's Chair. So let's go and check that out. Oh, we've got a window too. Well, that was insightful. <laughs> what about the window? The Ironwood Grove. Seriously? Okay. I don't really see the point of that. Um, is there anything else up here? Oh, look at the tapestry. Okay. So, there is Lord Forrester. That's the guy who Lord just Forrester. died. It was an honour to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Um, Roderick? Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Is he talking to himself or is he talking to the maester guy? Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Oh, I wonder if one of these is, um, the other character that we're gonna play? Um,. Maybe. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Because I do think that you get to play like three characters in this first episode. I think that's correct. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh yeah, I think that is the guy from the start screen. So, we might actually get to play Lord Ethan. So that'd be pretty cool. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Um. Okay, medical supplies. Do we need these? Bandages and healing herbs? And a bucket. Um, should we just pick them up? I don't know. Well, he just pocketed it anyway, so he's probably just stolen that. Uh, maybe the guy didn't notice, but we'll take these. You never know when you might need some healing herbs. This might help. Um, okay. Oh, that's like the maggots, I think. 
Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. No, not really. Okay. Um. So. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Oh my god, we just walked. Can we just talk to him now? I don't know. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um... Can I leave now? Because we've got to find our uncle, right? We don't want to stay here all day. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. So, so sad. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. That guy's a bit of a dick. Whatever you uh, think. Okay, Lord Forrester, he was, was a hero. A hero my lady. He pretty much was. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos. We had a horse fall on him, right? So anything, nothing could have I'm saved sure him, Lady really. Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Okay, you can't tell her the secret, guys. Um, if you can remember, give her the sword. Okay, he give her the me sword. To return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With yeah, we family. avoided it, right? Yeah. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. So this guy's Garrett, our uncle, right? Yeah, this guy? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Uh, they killed my family, goddammit. Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's so oh, is our uncle then? Already. Okay. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. Uh, we need it to be was smart. His family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart, and look where that got him. Don't you so, talk about Edward Stark like that, my friend. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done That's nothing wrong as at all. Would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Oh great, it's kicking me out now. Duncan, 
The boy has suffered enough. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Scanner. Scanner. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The, the boy's wall? done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want, what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. Yes, there are some slight but glitches with the sound. Sorry about that, guys. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. We really need to tell him this secret. That settles it, then. Okay, now tell him. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Why didn't he tell him the secret? What is he doing? That was like the one thing he had to do. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through okay, Lord still talking. Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Tell him now. I know you're not a criminal. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and. and I at Roderick's side, but. It was well deserved, Gareth. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell Oh, you. finally. What? Um. What is it? I have an important message. It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope. This is important, Garrett. I haven't told a soul, my friend. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon... I may need your help, but I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Okay. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will oh, help. Oh, so we're still going to the wall then. After all this important information has just been given to you by me, we're still getting shipped <laughs> off to the wall. <laughs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the um. house. Um... I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Okay, so off to the wall we go, guys. Well, that seems like a good point to end this video at. So this has been the first part of Episode 1 of Game of Thrones. Garrett, wait. Oh, wait. safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this does seem like a good point to end this video, guys. So thank you for joining me on this little journey, and we'll be back soon for part two of Game of Thrones episode one. Thank you very much for watching, you've been awesome for doing so, and I shall see you next time.